What's up, folks? This is Michael once again. Part two of the two night trivia question. Making up for some lost time on a really gorgeous Sunday night into Monday morning, getting our week started all over again. We're going to jump right into it, folks. The answer to the previous trivia question was, of course, the political talk show, Meet the Press. Meet the Press, a weekly American political television news interview program that began on radio in 1945, folks, going way back to very humble beginnings and origins. And it moved to television two years after that in 1947 on the NBC network, where it remains to this day in the 10 a.m. Sunday morning time slot. If you've ever been up around Sunday morning and you're checking out all the political talk shows, uh, talking head shows and so forth, Meet the Press is definitely one of them. And it is a mainstay in this TV classification of things. It is the longest running program on American television, bar none. The show specializes in interviews mostly with leaders in Washington, D.C. However, they also do interviews across the country and around the world on issues of politics, of course, economics, foreign policy, and other public affairs, along with panel discussions that usually take up the second half of the program that provide opinions and analysis. And the second half of the program is often very interesting. Folks, let me just tell you, I love Meet the Press. I've watched it for years, I just as, as long as I can remember. You know, I'm a news junkie anyways. History buff, obviously. I like, a little, uh, you know, dabble a little around in, in trivia as well. But I love Meet the Press. It's, it's a great, great show. Um, so if you're of a, a geek a geek like me, you can check it out. It's If you never have before, it's quite the talking head show of Sunday mornings. And it's considered a cornerstone of that TV classification and time slot. Whereas now they're on every station. You have CNN with Dana Bash. You have Meet the, Pre- uh, Meet the Press with Chuck Todd, of course, which is the focus of this trivia question. Uh, Face the Nation. Uh, just on and on. There's one on every channel on Sunday morning. It really all started with Meet the Press. Okay. Um, before any other show of this nature, Meet the Press on NBC was first and foremost. That's the takeaway from really the whole thing. In today's technological reach of things, the program is also read broadcast on Mondays at 4 a.m. on MSNBC. Get ready to come on soon here in the in the wee hours of the night. That's what I'm talking about. And also on Sirius XM Satellite Radio, the program is also syndicated to various radio stations in the United States. C-SPAN Radio. And of course, in today's day and age, we have podcasts. Meet the Presses everywhere on podcasts podcast the host of meet the press is named chuck todd so he calls them toddcasts pretty cool the current show is produced in washington dc which is kind of the flavor of the month with a lot of tv stations now cbs moved their mainstay uh primetime slot to washington dc meet the press is in washington dc so uh, everything's moving back into the belt line as they say throughout the mid to late 1980s Meet the Press struggled a bit, so by then every network was coming into their own and had a Sunday morning political talking head show, and Meet the Press had some difficulties really getting grounded and going forward in this aspect. At one point, the program aired at noon, which is really a bad time slot on a Sunday morning as far as political talk shows and interview shows go. It was an awkward lead into the football games scheduled for that day. Didn't improve ratings in this regard. Quite frankly, during that time period, I'm I'm surprised it even survived and didn't go off the air. Now, enter in a man named Tim Russert. If you know Meet the Press, you know who Tim Russert is. Tim Russert was a uh, kind of the, it goes down in history as kind of being like a backbone of sorts for Meet the Press. He brought it up from these ashes, if you will, and brought it into the current of, of what it is now. He took over as a moderator in the late 1991 and gave the show some some really hardcore backbone. Russert changed the whole format. He proved to be a moderator to be dealt with, really. He was not somebody from the political realm of things that you wanted to go up against if you hadn't done your homework. You didn't want to be interviewed by Tim Russert if you weren't ready. And a lot of people weren't ready. <laughs> and Tim Russert uh, was known for chopping them down on Meet the Press. Great, great political analyst. Russert changed the whole format. It proved to be the, a moderator, like I was saying, to be dealt with. It was Russert who really put the show back on the map, and he also came up with the famous tagline and phrase for Meet the Press, which says, if it's Sunday, 
then it's Meet the Press. Today, Meet the Press is hosted by Chuck Todd, who I referenced earlier, who's been there since 2014. The show is very popular right now uh, with midterm elections going on in the country. Suddenly, everybody's paying attention to Meet the Press, Face the Nation, CNN's, uh, whatever show Dana Bash has on CNN, I forget. Um, but everybody's paying attention to these shows now during midterms and, of course, during the year when uh, we have presidential elections. Now, having said that, I just before I came on and did this trivia question, I found a bunch of articles that says that's giving, some, you know, uh, it's, it's out there, a little bit of rumblings going on that Chuck Todd may be, may be getting ready to be uh, replaced in, in a, because of like decline ratings, they want a fresh face in there. Um, there's one of the women uh, analysts who has been on the show multiple times and who has a daytime slot with like rebroadcasting po uh, uh, podcasts and so forth. I think her name is Kristen something or other is being kind of groomed and slated to possibly replace Chuck Todd in the near future. These are just within the last four weeks and so forth, right? But we got to get through midterms first and probably the remaining of the year before any of that will uh, happen. But possibly a shakeup on the show. Once again, that's the way it goes really in, uh, in TV. A couple of cool geek factoids about Meet the Press. The uh, hosts for Meet the Press over the years are pretty impressive. We have Martha Roundtree, who started it all, who, by the by, was the only female moderator in the seven-decade history of the show. She was one of the founders of the show. Martha Roundtree, I say her name again. Look her up, folks. That is history right there. Really good history. Other hosts include Lawrence Spivak, Bill Monroe, Roger Mudd, Chris Wallace, who went to Fox, who is now on CNN, Garrick Utley, Tim Russert, of course, Tom Brokaw, who hosted the show periodically after Tim Russert uh, died unexpectedly, David Greger, who was uh, replaced um, by Chuck Todd, actually. So uh, presidents on Meet the Press. Check this out. Every president since John F. Kennedy has appeared on Meet the Press, although not necessarily during their presidency, right? But but every president since John F. K. has appeared on Meet the Press, which I think is very, very impressive. President Gerald Ford was the first sitting president to appear not only on the program, but on a political sh interview show of that nature. Pretty cool history. So Meet the Press has got some history uh, in the books for sure. The first live communication satellite television interview occurred on Meet the Press on September 19th, 1965. And that was uh, with British Prime Minister Harold Wilson. So there's some more neat history. Folks, if you've never checked out Meet the Press, I always tell people, if you, even if you're not a news junkie or into politics, check out one of these shows uh, on a Sunday. Sit down and actually sit through it. Some of them are really good. They've, they are often, these shows, Meet the Press, Face the Nation, CNN show, are often accused of having a slant of sorts. Um, but sometimes there's some really good back and forth dialogue. Sometimes there's some arguing, right? But it's uh, all politics. And of course, politics is life, folks. So uh, I guarantee you, you're going to hear uh, me, about Meet the Press and, and some of these other shows in the coming week with the midterms. And remember, folks, if it's Sunday, it's Meet the Press. All right, folks, let's get this brand new week started, getting ready for elections tomorrow. But first, we got to get through Monday for November 7th. Now, see if you can get this trivia question. Listen to the dates, right? Here we go on this day in 1976. This 1939 Oscar winning film is featured on television for the first time ever in two parts over consecutive nights, earning a then record 65% of TV viewers. Good luck, folks. Have a marvelous Monday. And I'll see you next time. Peace out. <laughs>